Hi everybody, we're doing a prove it today. I'm talking really fast because we have tried many times to do this introduction to talk about art hacks, okay? I've read a lot of different art hacks and um, some of them are a little bit more far out there in terms of my being willing to believe them than others. So I'm gonna try to prove it that uh, uh, these art hacks, a few of them work. And today we're gonna be looking at putting your acrylic paints in the refrigerator to keep them fresher longer on your palette. <laughs> These are the three little tests we're going to do. We're going to do acrylics in, uh, that I'm going to leave out, uh, out of any kind of cold box covered. I'm going to put one in the refrigerator covered and one in the freezer covered, okay? The art hack is keeping it in the refrigerator will keep it fresher longer. Now, I'm going to use my artist science standards, put my ASS into this, uh, to try to put out an equal amount of paint in each one, but I'm not going to like weigh it to the gram. So will it be off by a little perhaps probably but it shouldn't be enough to make a big difference and again I'm just playing with paint like you're hopefully playing with it at home right now because I don't believe in this like like I don't believe in things like leprechauns or Girl Scouts I I think that what I also want to do is try an actual palette that you don't have to refrigerate that is airtight and see if that performs just as good if not better than putting in the refrigerator because at the end of the day you know, if you have to buy a palette, you know, maybe just buy one that does this. I mean, maybe you're using a paper plate and that's why, but uh, we'll try all four. But these are the, the control, this is just for my funsies. So let's start putting paint on before uh, there's more noises from outside. I'm gonna be using a bunch of different brands just because, you know, I, I just am reading comments like, hey, you didn't, you know, use the golden acrylics. Those will not freeze. I don't know why you sound like that. I, I'm sure you sound wonderful, but uh, we're gonna do a bunch of different brands, okay? So here's some blue, okay, blue, blue. Okay, and that was uh, Creative Inspirations Blue. Um, this is the Lucas Pass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Will, I suck at this. Okay. All right, so it's Creative Inspirations Ultramarine Blue. This is Lucas Pastos Iron Oxide Black, which we are not using because I cannot open it. Katie, Katie was able to open this, something that Will and I was not a were not able to do. Uh, this is Lucas Pastos Iron Oxide Black. I guess whoever used this last got paint on the uh, threading, and that is like getting glue on it. So. Okay, so now I'm going to go into some cadmium yellow medium hue by Golden, okay? We're going to add some of that to our palettes. Ooh, that's... Eh. Aww. Eh. Okay. Oh, it's going in. Look at it. Oh, but it needs to go back out. I get so distracted. Ooh, butterflies. Okay, stick it in. Okay, we're going to go to a Liquitex cadmium-free orange. Alrighty. Charbon, extra fine acrylics, cadmium red medium genuine. So we're actually using real cadmiums for this. Why not? Let's let's see what the real deal does. Maybe it has a a different reaction than a hue. It shouldn't, but you never know. We're testing all different kinds of things, trying to avoid angering people. Another thing that I you know thought that people might say is you're not supposed to cover it with press and seal. You're supposed to cover it with. I'm doing that voice again. You're supposed to cover it with. Am I red? No. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to cover it with uh, tin foil or you know paper towels or whatever. We're, we're doing press and steel, okay? This is the, just trust me on that. This is what you use. Don't be don't be crazy. You're being silly. I've had enough of it. Get out. Uh, okay, this is the Expert Acrylics Permanent Red Violet. Oh. Oof. Oh. 
that ain't going in. All right, and last but not least, we are going to do the Sennelier Abstract. Uh, this is a deep magenta, and these are like cake icing, just for funsies. It's like Total Recall. Nobody got that good. All right, so now I'm going to cover my palettes. Um, we're going to start with, oh, we should start with these. OK, uh, well, no, this is in front of me. So we're going to cover this. All right, now this is not being refrigerated. This is just going to be set um, on Ming's desk because he's out of the country right now. Is it, did I get it? And you press and seal, press and seal. All right, so we got our acrylamizer. Now we're going to cover. Uh, tray number one, Let's try to get an even snowy coverage, seal thing, tight, like a toyga. So these are the two we're leaving out, put those on Ming's desk, this one is going in the refrigerator, this one is going in the refrigerator, weird stuff man, it's got like this... These bubbles, it's sticky, but it ain't sticky, you know what I mean? I don't. All right, and then finally, the one that's going in the freezer that's gonna be a mess because that's on here. Now, we're doing the freezer one just for fun because the, the, the hack does not say put them in the freezer. Um, but I'm also very much against freezing paints in general, I mean, there's going to be people that will argue that it it's fine, it's fine, but it does alter the chemical makeup of the paint, okay? I know I'm up here uh, with shenanigans, but th there is science to that, okay? And you might not see it immediately, but, you know, if you want your paintings to last, you want to do everything you can to keep the structural integrity of the chemical bond intact as long as possible so that you don't have to deal with shrinkage or crackage or breakage or plagiarism. Okay. We're going to come back in one week's time, take these things out, see how they've progressed. If things are all even, then we'll go another week, okay? So we're going to take this one week at a time. So I'm going to age by seven days immediately. All right, we are back for, uh, it's been a week, okay? We've let our acrylics uh, marinate in, uh, I guess, Ming's desk. Uh, these have been marinating in a refrigerator and these in the freezer. Um, I will say that I have not uncovered them yet, but I am curious about how the refrigerator did because you can see a lot of moisture was released from the paint, but it was kept trapped inside uh, and it didn't come up. Now here with the frozen ones, the water probably froze into the acrylic and I'm curious how they will thaw. The reason that I was kind of like, I don't think that this is going to work with the refrigerator is because, I mean... If you, if you talk to an HVAC specialist, they'll explain to you that the majority of what we know as air conditioning is dehumidification. There is, you know, a cooling factor, but they're trying to get the humidity out of the air so they can cool it. So that dehumidification means getting rid of moisture, and I was concerned that that would be uh, something that would be going on in the refrigerator and possibly the freezer, but I might be wrong. This, this uh, press and seal might be doing just the trick. And of course, over here, I have the acrylamizer palette uh, just to see how that one did. So let us go right into the ones that we're spitting out. And I'm just gonna look for problems. I'm gonna look for ones that, 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 that look like they're having a little issue. And if they're having a little issue, I'm going to see what brand it is and see if it's consistent. All right. We'll be right back after I'm done doing this. All right, let's go with a brush. I'm gonna go with, um, some, let's see, this looks like it'll be pretty fresh. Yeah, that looks pretty fresh. That's probably the uh, Creative Inspirations. Looks good, okay. Over here, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the refrigerated one, no issues. The frozen one, how long has this been out for? Okay, let's just, okay, it's a little icy, which is understandable, so, you know, let's just keep that in mind. But yeah, that's, that's painting, okay. So, where do we go from here? Let's just try some of these other ones. 
All right, this color right here looks like it might have not done so well. This is the Lucas Pastos Iron Oxide Black, and that, that is pretty stiff. Now, I don't know if that's because of the pigment or what, but underneath it, if I dig through the skin, I can get some wet paint. All right, let's see if the refrigerator helped out at all. If so, I'm gonna be very impressed and very disappointed with myself because I started this with like, this isn't gonna work. Shows how much I know. Okay, a little stiff. Like it, it actually kind of has like an oily consistency, but it, it, it's probably in better shape than the one that was just sitting out. And I'm guessing that this is just too darn frozen. But if I go underneath, okay. Yeah, I can still get some color out. Uh, all right, so let's move on. We're gonna go. This looks this this looks like it's completely wet. This is the um, Amsterdam Expert acrylic. That looks like it'll have no problems whatsoever. The refrigerator one, same. If not, maybe slightly better. And then the freezer one. Yeah. Okay. So. Eh. All right. Now we're going to try this red. Again, the red, I don't want to just keep poking at things because the red looks like it's still wet across the board. The magenta looks wet across the board. I mean, this looks kind of gross, but you know, when we come back for the second week, I'm going to let them thaw completely before we paint with them. I think that'll be fairer. The only one that actually gives me any question is the yellow. So let me just go into that. Okay, this yellow is a little, little stiff. This is the golden cadmium yellow medium hue. Okay, so there, there was a little, a little bit of skinning on that. However, there was not in the refrigerated one. Well, I look like a schmuck, but I do that a lot. And the freezer, uh, the same. Okay, so look, we're just gonna keep this part real short. Um, I think right now they're all doing good. I think we're gonna to need to give it another week to see if they deteriorate or remain the same faster. Um, but right now they think that they're all what I would consider fairly paintable. Katie and I are gonna cover these up so that they don't sit out and then we're gonna test these in the acrylamizer palette just for S and G. All right, so we're just gonna quickly take a look in the acrylamizer palette, see how that did. I'm not even gonna bother going through all the colors. I'm just gonna to go to the ones that I found maybe have the most trouble, like the iron oxide black, um, maybe maybe some yellow. We'll see, let's see if there's any difference. Okay, no, that, that still, that, that color, regardless of um, where I'm putting it, has a tough time. Uh, there, that's definitely skinned over, okay. Now let me look at this yellow, because the yellow is another one that gave us a, a little bit of a hard time. That's completely wet. Yeah, that's, that's in good shape from there. Yeah, no issues at all. And the rest of them look completely wet to me. So uh, I think right now it's a, it's a close contest, but the refrigerated ones at this point are looking pretty good. So again, this acrylamizer will, um, uh, not go in the refrigerator, I'm leaving this out just, just for, for tensies. All right, so we've tested our paints, we've put them away again, we're gonna come back in one more week, we're gonna just keep dragging this out, uh, but for you again, we're already there. So let's see how it looks uh, week two. All right, so it's been two weeks since we have filmed our first portion of this video, and to be honest, I've completely forgotten what we're doing. I know it's been very quick for you, but it's been a long time for me. Uh, no, seriously, what we're going to do is we're going to just see how these have lasted over the course of two weeks. So without further ado, let's see how our regular old acrylics did. Two weeks old. I'm looking, I don't even know if I'll have to paint much. I'm looking for skin. Okay. So I remember that the black was already a little, yeah, yeah. See, see how it's barely coming off on the knife. If I, if I cut into it, you know, maybe I'll get some wet, but 
You see, I think we did this wrong. I probably should have used the same color in a bunch of different brands because I have a feeling that this oxide black uh, is just naturally drying. Um, but let's look at some of these other ones. This one looks very fresh. Yeah, there's no skin on that whatsoever. Uh, and that was, uh, I didn't take out all the, um, the brands. I think that that one was the Sennelier. Um, but the brands are fairly irrelevant at this point. Um, blue is great. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. And that one's good. Okay, so let's see. I mean, I, I don't know if going in the refrigerator will be that much better. I mean, unless the, the black is significantly more wet, um, it's pretty much it, it's pretty much the same. Now, the moisture was, because this was in a refrigerator, was taken out of the paint because a humidifier, um, a refrigerator, tr the moisture was kind of taken out of this paint because the refrigerator is trying to dehumidify the air but the moisture was trapped in because of this. So you can see it has these kind of like condensation pockets. However, did that mean that water left the paint that wouldn't have left these paints? I don't know. So again, the biggest one I want to check because all the other colors were still wet is the black. And I will tell you that it does look slightly better, okay? These are all, yeah, they're all exactly the same as they were. No issues whatsoever, yeah. No skin. No skin. Okay, so as far as all of those colors go, whether it was in the refrigerator or not, didn't matter. Now the black over here, you can just tell by looking at the two, the black still has a little bit of sheen to it. So that's a good sign. Yeah, and that, that actually has stayed. It's, it's not completely, um, wet but it is definitely enough to pick some color up so when it came to that particular color it made a difference so um, what you'll find probably is you'll have your palette of colors that you use and if you find that some of them are uh, drying up on you but not all of them putting in the refrigerator might help it might help uh, you know we have a sampling here of what three five six seven different colors um, one out of the seven you know and I don't know how many people use this oxide black um, didn't work. Not having to bring your acrylics to the refrigerator is great, but I don't think that it hurt anything keeping them in there. And like I said, if you find that you are trying to keep it out of the refrigerator and that it's one or two is drying on you, I think that you can put in there and you might have a, a shot of keeping those paints longer, but for the majority, it didn't need to be refrigerated. So I don't know, I mean, is it an art hack? I guess if you have particular colors that are drying, um, let's move on just real quick to see what happened to our frozen paints. I don't think we really gave them enough time to thaw, but whatever. Who doesn't like using slushy paint? All right, so the first thing I want to show you, forget the paint and whatever. The freezing process, you see how now that it's been sitting out for just a couple minutes, these are still probably going to be fairly cold uh, and, and like frosty, frosty. Um, the color is the moisture is being drawn right out of the paint, man. And that's, and that's because of the chemical makeup being uh, destroyed. The, uh, the acrylic polymer uh, is releasing the water. And that's not good. I mean, that's, you, you don't want that. And obviously, I mean, when these fully thaw, maybe you can mix it back in. But I mean, like, why even bother? This, th this paint does not look like it's in better shape than either one of these. This is just sat out covered for two weeks. This was in a freezer for two weeks. There's no... There's no good reason to freeze them. And just for fun, we'll look at our acrylamizer. Again, this one was sitting out. The reason I like to show this one is that, first of all, not everybody wants to um, put paints in their refrigerator. And, you know, and a lot of other people might not. Here's the thing. I've seen probably over 1,700 art studios in my life. Um, I have yet to find one that I found spacious and, and, and luxurious. And I find that artists need to keep, thing, keep every horizontal surface at a premium. You need to do your art, but you also need it to hold your stuff. So having something that you can, first of all, keep 
in the studio, you don't have to put it in the refrigerator, and that's so durable that it's stackable, you can put stuff on top of this and it won't hurt anything, that can be a real premium to an artist that is low on space um, and doesn't have, you know, if they want to do the press and seal or not. Uh, these paints are all great. Let me just go right into them. They look great. Um, the black, the black is in the same condition, more or less, I would say, than the other one that was sitting out. The, uh, yeah, these are all wet, all wet. Sorry, I just want to make sure that I'm not cheating you guys. Uh, yeah, that, no skin, no skin. Yeah, all good in the neighborhood. All right, so, okay, so art hacks. We're testing art hacks, and the hack was, the claim was, keeping your paints in the refrigerator will keep them fresh for up to two weeks. Was that true? Partially, okay? We found, we found just in summary, we're summarizing now, that over uh, the course of two weeks, regardless of being refrigerated or not, the paint stayed fairly consistent, consistent in terms of wet outside of one particular pigment, okay? Whether it was in the refrigerator or not for two weeks, it made very little difference for the majority of the pigments. Um, this was the Lucas. Katie did remind me that the Lucas is a pastos paint, which means it's an, um, a paint that's designed to be uh, painted thickly uh, and not uh, shrivel and crack. And it actually did fine at doing that, what it's not supposed to, but I don't know how that played into the reason that these had a harder time staying out. So if you are using Lucas Pastos, maybe keeping them in the refrigerator will give you, it, it, it appears, whether, so if it's not the pigment, because we didn't do this test appropriately, because I'm using my artist science standards, so put it all together, you got me. Um, might be a good thing, good, good little tip. So uh, other than that, the other brands all look good. So I would say that this art hack is potentially useful, but not necessarily useful. So just take your palette, you have your colors, what you use, and if you notice that some are drying faster than others, you can try the refrigerator. What I, what I can definitely say is this, it didn't seem to hurt much. The only difference that you can see here is that because of some of that moisture release, and this is so nitpicky, you see how this is starting to kind of separate out sort of not nearly as bad as the frozen one is, where the one that sat out is staying all together. Nothing was trying to draw the moisture out of this because it was sealed and there was no air where the um, refrigerator was most likely trying to suck the humidity, the wetness out of the paint, and it was just trapped in there. So that might be why you're getting some of that. Again, it's nitpicky, it's not a huge deal. The paint didn't skin up, okay? So, uh, so if you have an art hack you'd like me to test, please put it below on the bottom. Let me know if you've uh, used a refrigerator for your acrylics and if it was helpful to you. Did you have similar results or different results? I think that's all good stuff for people to answer. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel, uh, like the video, ring the bell to be notified when we post new stuff. Uh, you never know what it will be at Jerry's Autorama's YouTube channel. It's, it's always exciting though. And you can follow me on Instagram at Mike Not Jerry. Why not? Let's plug me uh, and see what's going on with me. Sometimes you might not want to see what's going on with me. It's it's now becoming elitist. No, it's becoming it's becoming more me me like it, like the real me. And that's not for everybody. <laughs> it's not, especially my wife. Uh, anyway, thanks so much. Yeah, let's just get let's just end on that note. Okay, we should be more professional. So yeah, that's our art hack. Thanks so much. Just just just. You're going to leave this part in. All right. Hey, everybody. No, we're going to, what are we doing? What is this? And then, yes, thank you, Will. I was going to get to that, but there's a beeping. Everybody cool? Are you cool? Let's let's move on. Sun and guns. Ow! Everybody calm down.